Picture your life as a vast, white canvas. When you were young, it stretched before you, limitless and bright. Every stroke you made was a joyous exploration, a burst of unbridled creativity. But as years passed, something shifted. The canvas, once pristine, became cluttered with lines, colors, and intricate details. This painting, born from experiences and expectations, created a captivating world, yet it also obscured the boundless potential beneath. This, in essence, is the human experience. We start with an open mind, a universe of possibilities. But as we navigate life, we paint layers of stories, judgments, and self-doubt onto our canvas. This self-constructed landscape, while familiar, can feel restrictive, obscuring the vibrant potential that lies beneath. The good news is, the original canvas, the one teeming with infinite possibility, is always there. We can reclaim it, not by erasing our experiences, but by shifting our perspective. We can learn to see through the painted layers, to recognize that the stories we tell ourselves, the limitations we believe in, are just that, stories and beliefs, not absolute truths. Imagine stepping back from your canvas, taking a deep breath, and letting go of the brush. In that quiet space, beneath the layers of self-constructed meaning, a sense of vastness opens up. It's the feeling of being limitless, unburdened by the dramas and narratives that play out on the painted surface. This is our true nature, the infinite potential that predates any stroke on the canvas. Remember, you are not the painting, you are the painter. You hold the brush, the colors, and the power to choose what to create. Liberation doesn't lie in changing the painting, but in remembering who you are, the vast, unbounded canvas on which it all unfolds. Your true nature is untouched by the stories you tell yourself. It's the silence between the brush strokes. You've lived your whole life forgetting the eye and seeing only what you're painting. So picture a painter that's it starts out at a clean canvas when you're young, when you get born. It's a clean canvas. It's like, whoa, full of possibility. You're always happy. Ah. And then you start painting, and you start, the more strokes you place on the canvas, the more interested you become in what happens to the strokes, if they're perfect. or In the beginning, you're just like, yeah, yay, look at this. This is a horse, but it's like something unrecognizable. <laughs> But anything can be anything, and it's fun, and it's joyful, and it's spontaneous, and you're still natural, and you're not attached to it. You just do it. You're not judging it, and you're not judging yourself by it. You're not believing that you have anything to do with what you're seeing. That's why you're so damn happy. It's like, I'm just seeing this shit, but it's got nothing to do with me. Yay! <laughs> but then you get invested in the dream, and you start to believe that it actually says a lot about you, that you are somehow tied to the forms that you're painting, that you're dreaming. And so you believe you're attached to what you're seeing. As a result, you start to generate lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of layers of self-image, what you believe you are, using pictures and words that other people told you, and da 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 and it goes on and on and on and on and on, until you can't feel yourself anymore, and you're just this cesspool of thoughts and remember the only way to get out of it is to shut up because you don't have the clarity to dream consciously quite yet you may like that idea of you create your own reality but good luck until you clear out your closet and you know what it is you are you will not be able to make any profound alterations in your experience because you'll just be slamming thoughts into different kinds of thoughts and trying to make a difference. And it makes a bit of a difference. You are the creator, but it's so frozen in concepts. The freedom, the power that you are as a consciousness, as an infinite creator, which created all the universes and all the evolutions and all the cycles, that is you too. But you've reduced it to, I don't like what this person is saying about me. That's, what you, that's currently your sense of I'm the creator of my world. It's like, oh yeah, I can change that thought. But that's good. But that's about as good as it gets from this place. That's not, that's not quite um, the level that you crave at a deeper level. You want to know this. You want to know this eternal sense of I exist. You want to know that you're always safe no matter what appears. You want to know that you're always free to choose no matter what arises. You want to know you're not the thoughts, you're not the mind, you're not the emotions, you're not the people in your life, you're not even your own people, your people, you. The people, the person that's walking around 
in your painting this whole time. You can stop painting a person. Did you know that? You don't have to continue to paint this person in your painting. This annoying little thing. You keep painting other paintings, and then you put yourself in it. Like, <laughs> the whole painting can change, but nope, you always got to be there. Oh, let me just paint this little guy here with two legs and two arms and this personality and these judgments. And You don't have to do that, you know that? You can just paint an entirely new scene and leave yourself out of it. Shut up. It's better for everything, especially yourself. Because it's in the absence of the little me, paint, repainting your little me, it's in the absence of that. It's in the shutting up that something bigger opens up to this and even begins to open up to that. Because this, just like the dream does not exist apart from the consciousness which is dreaming it, or the beingness which is projecting it, so too does the whole dream and the dreamer and the consciousness not exist apart from or outside or without the Absolute. When the whole dream disappears, the Absolute remains. But the Absolute will never disappear. It doesn't depend on the dream.